Okay, um, welcome to my uh, co-creation room. Um, I'm Oli Saunders, uh, I'm a 3D footwear designer um, and managed to, uh, to, to win this amazing competition with uh, Gravity Sketch and Latest Design. Uh, so I'll run you through uh, the inspiration, first of all, um, behind this, this concept. Um, so starting with these images over here on the left-hand side of the stage. Um, I, uh, I worked with, um, with a, a designer, Marika Brugink, um, and uh, she, she created this concept some years ago, a nice simple um, uh, idea about material wrapping around the foot. Um, so she put me in the right direction on this project, really. And it was all about keeping it simple um, because that's what a slide is. Um, just adding some nice, uh, nice new features like um, the tabby toe. So I looked at the importance of toe balance here with the surfer. Um, and I really wanted to include that within a slide. Just gives you that a tiny bit of flex, tiny bit of balance, um, and just has a more sort of... Uh, feel I think um, organic shape um, is this picture, like, like yeah the, I, I, I love this picture because you can just see the importance of being able to move your big toe compared to the rest of your, your toes uh, it really gives you extra extra balance and um, I, I think um, it just it just allows you to do a bit more um, in terms of say you could why not make this slide not only a slide but maybe you could use it for uh, maybe yoga or exercise or something like that, it really grips to the foot. I just wanted to make it a bit more versatile than the average slide really. Um, so looking at the way material wraps around the foot, I really love that sort of sim simplicity um, aesthetic of um, material flowing around the foot. And that's why when I first got into gravity, I was able to explore that quite, quite easily like by drawing around the last and, and seeing how um, Did you import this last? Yeah, yeah, so this is one of my last. Um, uh, but I did use the, the ones set in gravity as well. It's a combination of things, really. Um, I found those really handy, like the, the prefabs in gravity. Um, so, yeah, I, I started off with some 2D sketching, keeping it all simple, so you can see these sketches over here. But I knew that um, I would have to take it into 3D to for it to really come to life. Um, I had some ideas in my head, but I found it, I, I find it a lot easier to work in 3D form, because that's what I'm used to. Um, so, so these sketches got me through um, to, to the final rounds where I, I, um, I was in the final five and uh, sent the Gravity Sketch software and the um, Oculus Press headsets. And that's when it, the, all the fun started, really, because I'd never used Gravity before. I was, very, I was always used to um, traditional 3D programs like um, SolidWorks, Rhino, that type of thing. So uh, to use Gravity was so different, so refreshing, so much more creative, and very easy to, to learn how to make things that are quite complicated quite quickly. Um, so yeah, it started off with uh, two sketches um, and some wireframe work that, and those are really important, I think, to get right before you go into the um, the surfacing side of things with, with sub D. Um, so yeah, after a few days, I, I was I was ready to sort of get stuck into the model and and really make um, a, a, an organic um, design of slide. Um, so I'll, I'll take, I'll pick up one of the models first and then I'll discuss the renders after. So I've laid out these, these models as if, um, you know, we're in a, a retail environment. Uh, so it's, it, the slide is sort of two components. So I started with the footbed. I'll just uh, separate those and take the footbed out. I spent a lot of time getting this foot shape right. This is really important for me. I think that's what you see when you look at a slide is you're looking down on it, it's all exposed and you just see the footbed and you want it to be a nice, comfortable foot shape. Um, taking elements of other things like Birkenstock perhaps and the original uh, Adidas Abilet um, and just tr trying to make it um, original at the same time. 
add in the tabby toe cut. And I just imagine this being like super soft um, material like um, EVA. And the idea is that to make this a sustainable um, product is that it connects into the ouch, the, the shell, if you like, the outsole um, with no um, with no adhesive, so it could be replaced or customized in time. Um, it just adds a bit more um, sustainability really to, to the concept. Um, so once I was happy with the footbed, I started building this piece here, the, the outsole, uh, all out of one surface and gravity sketch, um, one polygon at a time. Uh, it took a couple of days to get right, but I, I was really happy with the outcome. Um, adding in these nice deep sort of uh, flexible wrapping tread cuts um, so to make it as flexible and comfortable as possible um, with a deep cut tread pattern on the bottom for more grip. Like I said, I wanted to slide through a bit more than just the average house, around the house slide, around the uh, swimming pool slide. I wanted it to be sort of slide you could go for a, for a little trek with if you wanted to. Um, so yeah, we wanted to keep it super organic, uh, nice rounded edges, that puffy sort of uh, blown EVA look. Um, yeah, it, it would definitely be um, tricky to mold, I think, but you know, definitely doable if it was all one piece. So once I was sort of happy with, um, spent a long time perfect, perfecting it in gravity sketch, uh, and then I was able to bring it into Keyshot um, as an OBJ file. And that's when it really came to life in these renders you can see on the back wall here. Um, I probably, doing the process again, I would have gone into Keyshot sooner because I was even surprised by how real it looked <laughs> um, when I brought it into Keyshot because I'd spent a lot of time in VR. And um, I think maybe the resolution isn't as good as on our monitor in VR. So I, I learned now that when it looks pretty good in VR, you know that it's going to look amazing uh, when you bring it into a, a rendering package like Keyshot. Um, and yeah, with, with a few simple textures and some lighting, it, was, it really came to life. And uh, so happy with the, the, the way it sort of um, it comes out as a real product. Um, and then I was able to easily duplicate it, make some pairs like this family pack on the bottom here. I really wanted it to be a unisex. Uh, gender neutral product um, that anyone could wear. And I think the feedback I've got so far on social media and, um, is, is that it's, it's for everyone. So many people will buy it. Um, <clears throat> so using the Gravity Sketch um, uh, co-creation room, I was able to put together some simple uh, visuals at 3D and 2D to show um, the innovation behind it. So this could consist of uh, three simple parts. If you wanted to add like a sock liner to it as well, it's more of a, uh, an autumn winter product perhaps. Um, I think that this way of presenting just really helps um, sell the idea in rather than just one product on the table or, or a PowerPoint presentation. But I think in, in VR, you just sort of, uh, you're able to really get your ideas across. And at the last minute, I was also able to present how I vision the material being for the sustainable slide concept. Um, Algae Bloom would fit the story perfectly because it's, it's, a, it's a slide that's inspired by uh, the outdoors, the ocean, the movement, the, the flowing material around the foot. So for it to be made with something like Algae Bloom material, um, it would just be you know, the ultimate sustainable product, I think. Um, so yeah, I, I thought going back to the wave, quickly quickly sketch this up in gravity, um, the, add, add some particles of the material as well. And I just think little things like this just make your presentation um, so much more interesting than the normal. Uh, yeah, so I was really happy with that. And yeah, just using, using gravity, I was able to just create the stage and everything super quick. Uh, this environment, um, uh, pretty amazing, really. Like, you know, if you spend a bit more time, you can, you can create some awesome um, presentation rooms, and there's no boundaries. 
really cool. Um, what I like is that you have this combination of of like traditional ways of presenting and then you have like, yeah, like a retail environment. How, how would you normally present an idea like this, at least at the concept phase? And how is this additional way of, of sharing or presenting an idea? What is this added to that process? Yeah, so uh, from my experience, when you've got a, a rough concept that you, um, you want to push forward and get it in front of the right people, um, because it's usually a very rough stage, um, the presentation isn't usually that, uh, that impressive. It's usually just, you've got a prototype or you've got a 3D model. Uh, ideally, you'd have a render as well, but it's usually just around the table, have a look at this, uh, try and sell the idea in. But I mean, as soon as I realized that you can add all these images in, in gravity and you can duplicate the model and and you can add your own 3D uh, elements to go with it. I, I just thought, wow, this, this, like to create this environment in, um, in the office would cost you too much money and take too much time. But if people can get their headsets on, um, it, you know, it, I think it really, really helps to sell your idea in. And there's no distractions as well. That's what I really love about VR, is once you're in the VR zone, you don't get distracted by anything else. Um, whereas I've been in some meetings before when people are trying to sell an idea in. Some people aren't paying attention, you know, there's too many distractions. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, it's awesome. Um, uh, I'm, I'm thinking of more ways to use this going forward uh, to, to present concepts and, and products even, um, to, to customers, to clients, to businesses. It's got so much potential. So in the in like a traditional workflow, would, would these be like kind of just rough mock-ups, kind of similar to what we see here <clears throat> in your inspiration board? Yeah, yeah. So going back to that inspiration board, that's a that's a quick sort of uh, physical mock-up of material and the wooden labs. Um, but I've used a lot of 3D printing um, uh, on my previous uh, workplace at Clark Shoes, um, uh, where we would 3D print overnight, and the next day we'd gather around the table and have a look at the prototype with designers, product developers, uh, PLMs, and make decisions based on their 3D print, um, which, is, which is a good process, but expensive um, and slightly time consuming as well. I suppose there's, um, <clears throat> keeping things in 3D is, is faster. Um, these renders don't take long to produce once you get the model right. So, yeah, I think 3D printing is great. If you could put 3D printers in a flexible material, then that's quite different because then you can try it on. Um, so that's a completely different uh, So, uh, yeah, the, the printing would still be best for maybe like haptic feedback and like fit and testing and stuff like that. I guess from the, we're, we're mainly just focused on the visual visuals here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this will be about um, aesthetics and and what the concept's about. Then the next stage would be about printing in 3D or making um, making like a flexi mold, a quick mold, um, to, to make sure it's fitting correctly on, on the foot. Um, yeah, there's no reason why, you know, some, maybe the foot bed could be a 3D printed part in itself for the final product. And uh, that's a possibility as well. There's lots of, uh, lots of small brands are doing that now. I think actually bigger brands are doing it like Echo. Uh, customized uh, for beds. So, yeah. Oh, this is really cool. Like, just the whole way that you've put together the room and used the collaboration features. You, you made the whole thing in Gravity Sketch as well, which is amazing. So, like, you know, every single element is uh, was built in the tool. Well, yeah. What do you think that your next project will be? Using this oh, so I, I'm, I've uh, gone freelance um, recently. So I'm a freelance 3D designer specializing in footwear, but maybe product as well. Um, so I'm teaming up with a few uh, new friends, a few ex colleagues from Clarks, and uh, a few other designers. And, and we're uh, through Proto Heights and through some other avenues, we're sort of um, creating like a design collective where we can take on. Um, multiple groups, uh, big or small, from, from brands and clients, 
Uh, so we've got a few things on the go. Probably can't uh, give away too much, but, um, but there's lots of footwear um, projects on the go. And, uh, I've, we've all been discussing ways of using gravity going forward. Um, and the other guys are, are keen to, to get gravity and headsets as well so that we can work like this, exactly like we're talking now in this sort of co-creation environment so we can look at models together um, without having to travel to, to see each other or, or even on you know Zoom chat. I don't think it does it justice to jump into something like this. It's quite different and new. So that's the plan going forward. We'll, we'll use gravity to analyze models. I'll definitely be using it to create because from what I'm used to, this is the most creative 3D program I've used. Um, so I find that I can take a very loose sketch, like my sketches over there, and really uh, take it to the next level in gravity. Whereas if I was going to take that 2D sketch in a different 3D program, um, I think it would, it would be too loose. I would need something more accurate um, for it to turn out well. So that's what I love about gravity is um, the level of detail I think you can get to and you, know, you just see things from a different perspective. It just really feels like you're working on it with your hands, um, like when you're carving it, you're making it with your hands. And um, yeah, I'll be using it on, on a lot of projects. I think especially at the moment for the more organic products, I think for me it's, it's perfect. Um, but something more engineered, more rigid, we'll probably revert back to um, uh, some parametric design. But yeah, there's so many poss possibilities for using gravity with our design agency, hopefully. Cool. Well, Ollie, thanks so much for spending a bit of time and walking us through this again. It's, um, it's, it was definitely one of our favorites in terms of this layout that you felt immersed in a almost like a retail environment, but at, at the same time, a design studio. And yeah, I hope that you can, maybe when you have some of the other projects launched, you can kind of walk us through those as well in the future. Yeah, definitely, I'd love to. Um, yeah, I'll be, I'll be sharing, once things are ready, I'll be, I'll be sharing them with you guys. Um, yeah, hopefully many more concepts like this to come. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. And um, yeah, we'll speak soon. Cheers, thank you.